And next I'm going to show you how to make diagonal supports and why they're so important. Uh, on this side you can see that I have one, two, three, four diagonal supports. And because of that, it makes this side very strong in this direction, in this direction, so that it, can, it can't bend very easily. But if you look from this end, you see on this side there's no diagonal supports, so it makes this wall quite weak left to right. Here I have the templates for diagonal supports. This is enough to make two short diagonal supports and two long diagonal supports for a total of four. I'm going to start with a long diagonal support. The only difference between the two of these, and when you would use one versus the other, is whether you have room for a long diagonal support or whether it will get in the way of another one and you would want to use a short one instead. First step is to trace along these long dotted lines. Next you're going to trace along these two short dotted lines. These other two diagonal dotted lines are optional and you'd only trace on those if you're going to tape it to the base and one of the columns. If it's going to go from a column to a beam, you would not trace along this. But I'm going to trace along to show you how that works. Next step is to cut along these solid black lines. There's two on each end. Next step is to make mountain folds along all the long dotted lines. Next I'm going to tape this together the same as I do for beams or columns. So I'm putting one long piece in the middle. And then a piece that goes over the end. And I want to make sure that I put this around like that will be a lot stronger. And put the tape on the inside just like that. These two flaps at each end are going to be folded at valley folds. Valley fold here. And these two little triangular flaps are going to also be valley fold like this. I'm going to attach it this side to the base. The triangular flaps are going to be flat on the ground like this. I'm going to slide it in this way until these flaps go around this column. And this flap is right up against this column here. And I want to make sure that it, the whole frame is not tilted one way or the other. So I want to hold it straight up and down. And I'm going to tape in eight places. These flaps down here, one, two, three plus on here, and the same thing over here. There's this flap pointing down this way, two on the sides, and then straight up here. Make sure that this stays right up tight against the column. I'm going to tape this diagonal support to the underside of this beam and this column right here. Even though I didn't trace along this line, it still comes in handy because I want to make sure that it's parallel and right up against this edge of the beam before I tape it on. Okay, now I've added two diagonal supports, one down here and one up here, and that will make it stronger in this direction. So this will, the whole thing will become much stronger, and the more you add, the stronger your roller coaster will be.